in St. Petersburg. They are hoping to recreate that run this evening as well. The whistle goes, Orange County in their oranges. Get us started. History. That the player who scored a hat trick had his team lose the game. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to swallow, right? Oh, a chance here for Phoenix over the top. Danny Trejo scores! Phoenix do get the first goal. Danny Trejo gives Phoenix the lead in Irvine. He sneaks in behind. And Phoenix rising on enemy territory. Strike first in this Western Conference semi. Huge relief of pressure for Phoenix. Getting on the score sheet so early in the game. Trejo does ever so well. You can see him making the run in between the two center backs. Does well to use his body. And then he just follows the ball past the goalkeeper, past the defender. Taps into the back of the net. The second chance he's had in these opening six minutes. He's been a constant threat, but so much composure in that play. If you see when a goalkeeper comes out at that speed, sometimes attackers can panic, but he just nips it around him. Does well with his strength to hold off powers. He's, he's put him under a lot of pressure and Trey They got to the final, Louisville beat them in the final. So Juan Guerra is hoping that this Phoenix team maybe will get a shot at it. But Milana Lasky almost equalizes. Absolutely smashes the frame. Just, just look at the first touch from Mil Milano Lasky here. The, the first touch creates the opportunity. As we spoke about his ability to score a range of goals. Look, the first touch, second touch, whips it. That's inches away from probably being one of the goals of the season. Keeper was absolutely nowhere near it. Powers for Milano Lasky who drills one and he's blocked away. Lasky with three around him, finds Partida. Kyle Scott, it opens up for him and it's parried away by Rios Novo. Ball just pops out here to the edge of the box and it's Scott again from distance. This time he does hit the target and forces a save out of the goalkeeper. Where was the fairly straight? Brian Alaski again is lurking. He curls a lovely ball in. It could be a chance here to play it across. 1-1. One, one. Thomas Among equalizes for Orange County. A beautiful, beautifully placed ball by Ryan Dogman who gets the assist. The champ erupts and Orange County swiftly responds. Alaski delivers this ball. Great vision here to pick his head up. Find Doman attacking on the left-hand side, drills it across the box, and a man just arrives at the right time. Good technique, gets head over the ball, side foots into the back of the net, but you have to ask questions here at the defending. Where's the fullback when Doman's making this run on the left side? He's in so much time and space on his own. There's nobody putting pressure on him. Incredible times being a part of the Danish national team staff at the last World Cup, as well as Amon breaks through again. He tries to score. He was maybe Harried a couple of times there by Phoenix. Referee says no. He pointed at the ball as if to say the ball was won there fairly on the challenge. Troy credit because a man gets past him here, but he stays with the play, and I think he does make a good tackle here at the last minute. He manages to get his left foot on the ball and, and flick it away from a man. But here you thought he was going to be in all kinds of trouble here. I don't think he catches him there when a man starts to go down, I think. And if any game exemplified that, it was the first round against San Diego. Here's Milana Lasky for Orange County. Dances past one, looks to shoot! And curls it wide of the post. A little bit of frustration from him afterwards, but it's a lovely run for Derek Formella. And Formella does pick up the pieces here. He lays it off and a shot does come in! And it's just a whisker wide from Eddie Monjoma. It's there for Orange County, wasn't quite good enough. Falls to Monjoma as he runs inside from the flank. Carries on his run here on his right foot, tries to whip it into the bottom corner, but why did a post keeper look like he had it covered anyhow? This service capabilities and Among could be away here for Orange County. He's already scored once. Can he find the angle? It's still Among and it's blocked away. Dogman picks up the pieces and shoots and drags his shot wide of Rios Novo's goal. See both Velosky's on either side of the flanks getting up to support Amang and also Scott from the center of the park being able to join the attack and, and create those goals for opportunities despite just playing with one striker. Well, speaking of Scott, his challenge here on Armanakis as when Mayor strides forward into the attack. Eddie Monjoma curls this in and Eddie Monjoma's offside as Traore scores. Formella thought it counted, but the flag had gone up ages ago against Monjoma when he scored his late goal in San Diego. I think it's Monjoma who was actually the player who was offside, because neither of the players centrally are, are offside in this situation. I think it's Monjoma from okay. wide. But... Owen Lamb down the far side for Orange County. Brian Olaski, an incisive pass for Milan Olaski! 
who tries a sensational overhead kick, but it goes wide of the goal. And this first touch isn't intentional. The ball pops up, but he just reacts to it, and the bicycle kick. If that goes into the back of the net, just, just the ref needs to blow the whistle there. Done. <laughs> In the game, but for Orange County, that's not necessarily been the case tonight. They've had 39% possession, but had 15 shots on goal. Armanakis gets past a challenge. Armanakis into the penalty area. For Mella, always oh, a danger. Uzo. Shot does come in from Harvey. And it's well held by Shuttler. And then we will play 15 more minutes after that, regardless of what the score is. Phoenix again with some lovely build up play. And it's Henry Uzo! I was just going to say, Chris, it's one of those things where another referee maybe looks at, at, at that with a dimmer view. You never know. But I, I'm glad the referee didn't because, you yeah. know, late in, the, late in the game like that, Orange County just able to break that Phoenix press of a ball straight down the middle from the goalkeeper. Well, there's a coming together on the far side there. Milan Olaski brought down and Henry Uzo is booked for the challenge. Ticking down on five minutes plus stoppage time left in the second period of extra time. Gallardo is able to get past the defender. It's in for Emil Cuejo, who's going to shoot, and he scores! More late playoff magic for Phoenix! The substitute, Emil Cuejo, scores with five minutes left! And Phoenix take another giant step towards the Western Conference Final! Won by a moment of magic, and this is exactly this. Look at this, he opens his body. I think he's going to bury this into the far corner of his right foot. Drags it back onto his left foot, absolutely hammers this home down the central, gives the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever, and this could potentially be the winning goal for Phoenix. In a game where they haven't created too many chances, they've created the one that matters most, the one that's giving them the lead. And just like it was in 2018, it's 2-1 to Phoenix in Irvine. Phoenix come the other way with the ball again. Gallardo is to the left. Zambrano's through the middle. Gallardo. Gets into the penalty area. He plays it square. Uzo can seal it! And he skies it. Wide. Derek Formella. Into the final minute of extra time. Formella! Saved by Shuttler. But Phoenix won't care too much. They get a corner. He left. I think the key to this game, Sean, has been the substitutions. If you look at the connection for the goal, it's Gallardo down the left. Ball is sent ahead by Nakim. Over to the far side, it's headed towards the edge of the penalty area. Formella gets his head to it. And the whistle goes! The game is over!